59-year-old mother of three, Josephine Zelani, was diagnosed with kidney failure in 2011. She has been put on dialysis ever since and is just 1.5 kilograms away from being put on the waiting list for kidney transplant. I have to, you know, exercise more. The more you exercise and the more you eat healthy, then you can reach that goal. You can even go more down. Why? Because, you know, when you exercise, you can feel it, I can feel it, that when I exercise, you know, I become ener energetic. I don't feel that I do have this disease totally. While kidney disease doesn't have specific symptoms, people with high blood pressure, sugar diabetes and HIV are most likely to fall victim to the illness. Um, in very advanced stages, kidney failure can present with a range of symptoms including um, fluid retention, so the patient may experience swelling of the body, and things like tiredness and fatigue and altered tastes in the mouth and altered appetite levels. The way people eat in South Africa, their exercise status and so on is very poor and so um, we're having far too many people that we're actually having to manage. An estimated 6 million rand is spent on renal services alone yearly. When it reaches end stage uh, renal failure or end stage kidney disease then it's a much more complex form of treatment and here we start moving on to dialysis and transplantation which are the effective interventions at that stage and those are extremely expensive interventions um, and though we would like to be giving dialysis for example to everybody who needs it um, is it really affordable for us and so it becomes a, a difficult issue of dis sometimes even deciding who should go on and who should not. Kidney disease is the 10th highest cause of death in South Africa and equates to around 5,000 deaths a year. And majority of those deaths are women. So it's important to remember that a healthy woman is an empowered woman. Gamhelon Tanambi, SABC News, Johannesburg.